Sometimes in my life I'm like, oh my freaking God, what is going on? And I feel like that's what my Instagram's like. Today, all us awkward guys are gonna learn how to finally pose like Instagram models. The only attempt I've ever tried to be a model, I'm wearing like at least two GoPros. I got like the sorority handout. Basically, I have one pose, sit close to the window with good lighting and raise my eyebrow kind of like this. That's the only thing that I know how to do. When I was in Disneyland, I should be more excited, but literally the picture is a white picture of me standing like this. It's like the most miserable picture. If someone whips out a camera, my go-to pose is just my hand in my pocket and then just like a cheesy smile. Smile. They look like they have their life together. They're always on the street, on the go. A lot of them do the hashtag OOTD. Instagram bloggers are usually really stylish and they're always looking off into the distance, contemplating life. Kind of remind me of Ryan Gosling. I think Instagram fashion bloggers make their lives look a lot better than they actually are. They make it look easy, but I'm sure it's a lot harder and more complicated. Today we have Davey, an Instagram photographer, teaching us how to pose. So there are only a handful of poses that Instagram fashion models do. Three poses are casual lean, the mid-walk, adjusting your clothes. Pose number one is a casual lean. So basically, it's just to show that you're relaxed while showing off your clothes. Leaning was a bit of a challenge because I feel like I didn't want to look like I was uncomfortable. At first, to be honest, it felt really forced and I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure I'm not going to like those and it showed in the photos. Was that when I was actually leaning, like waiting, it actually felt natural and it looked natural. The whole experience was very uncomfortable from like where to put my feet, where to put my hands, where should I lean, how to pull my jacket, how to... Everything was just like, it looked very uncomfortable. It's weird because your arm sometimes was squished and you didn't know it. Or like it felt natural, but then like your shoulders are unaligned. This pose was very awkward. Nothing felt natural to me. I just kind of did what they told me to do. It was awkward. Did not feel comfortable doing that. I actually flatlined a little bit to figure out which leg I was putting in front. And it's actually pretty hard. Pose number two is going to be the mid walk. Basically, you're just going to be walking and look like you're going somewhere, but you're not actually going anywhere. When I was looking off, I was just thinking like, hmm, what am I thinking about? But that really like translates into an awesome photo because you see the photo and it just looks like, hmm, what am I thinking about? Uh, I felt super awkward. I'm not good at walking in my normal life, so doing it on camera was even worse. It kind of forces me to come out of my element and my shell because I feel like it's easy to take one when no one's watching. Is it weird that I actually enjoy it? Just the act of moving was really awkward for me. I don't know why. I'm also just dressed up to the nine and like this is not who I am. This is really hard. Like pretending to walk is harder than actually walking. You kind of forget how to walk. It didn't feel as awkward as I thought it would be, especially after seeing all the guys do it. People were definitely looking because we were all dressed up, but we were all together. It made it much easier. Pose three, adjusting your clothes. Shows that you're fashionable, so it looks like you're thinking about your clothes. All you want to do is just look good. It's funny because there's only so many things that guys can do. You can either button a jacket, fix your tie, and that's it. I feel like I really enjoyed playing with the watch pose. You know, we always see those photos that are like, for some reason, there's something's always wrong with their coupling. But I like it. It's simple. Very happy that I did this. I feel like I've learned so much. I didn't know what to do with my hands, and that was really uncomfortable. I mean, I think I'd be very good without arms. The poses that I enjoyed the most were ones where it involved a lot of accessories. I think I got to hide behind things, and it made me feel like it wasn't really about me, but it was more so about the look. I was actually surprised. I'm kind of an awkward person. I didn't expect to feel good. I saw the pictures and was like, oh, that's not that bad. I'd hit that. After I posted the photos, my like game was up at least over 100. Huge difference for me. My highest liked photo was the one where I was walking and like fixing an item of clothing. 482 likes. There are hitting over like 300. Pretty solid increase of over 100 on each of these photos. This one particular picture where I'm fake walking, 314 likes. I had 413 likes and over 28 comments. The comments were, oh my goodness. Nice. The praying hand. Damn, are you famous now? There's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking. Damn, dad. Oh my God, va va boom. These last two photos, I was hesitant to post because I didn't think I looked the greatest in them. I posted them and they both put up great numbers in the light game. And it actually did make me feel more confident about having a bald head now. When I had nice photos of it, you're like, oh, you know, I can oh, rock great. it. You're also really quick to pick out your own flaws. Those might not be there. They just might be in your own head. And like other people aren't going to see that. Before I had 
had no idea what to do with my hands or even smile. Now that I know, like if I just look like this, like that is the pose every time. I had so many people like text me, why is your watch always broken? <laughs>